Alright you guys, welcome back to this awesome awesome game, No Man's Sky. I've done a bit whilst uh, you guys were away, as you can tell by all of the different little markers on my map. Those are all different alien markers that I decided that I was going to mark out before I started the episode, so that way I can actually have some more high quality content for you guys, you know, going to all these different spots and hopefully learning a bit more about the lore in this game. I also uncovered two different um, uh, other kinds of uh, markers. These are like... I want to say quest markers, but I don't. I don't think it's quite that important. I think it's just little things that I earned from doing some masterfully earning them. Yes, yes, I masterfully earned them by solving some very, very, very basic puzzles. That's pretty much all I did. Um, uh, but you know, I, mean, I deserve it. And I also, whilst I was away, I also did something kind of cool. I went and got a lot of money. One point six five seven million units. Because why not? I figured it would be a good thing just in case I needed it later on or if I wanted to buy a ship, maybe in this episode or the next. Uh, I think it'll probably be the next, depending on how long I want to make these episodes. I'm going to go back to the 25-30 uh, minute long format instead of episode 3's hour and 20 minutes because it was an absolute bitch to render. I obviously didn't do some things right and it just took forever to post as well, which is why it was posted so freaking late yesterday. Um, I do hope to post this one and then hopefully another video today, uh, but I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be able to. I'm going to see how things go, though. I'm going to go to the crash ship over here, this little mission marker, and see what it's about, see if I can learn anything more about the lore of this, and hopefully not waste any of your guys' time while doing so. So, let's get there fast. Alright. Well, how's the weather? I can't hear you respond, but I'm assuming it's good. I'm assuming it... Okay, don't crash. I'm assuming it's good. Oh, oh, okay, cool. So what's new? In, uh, well, yeah, what's new and going on with you guys? Crash ship in three, two, one, land. Please land quicker. Nope. Okay, I get a super long landing sequence because it's trying to. Come on. There we go. I guess I was probably trying to land directly on the thing, which wouldn't wouldn't work very well. All right. Where's yeah, there it is. Oh, what? No, way. that's not the right one. That's the right one. Over that way. Holy crap, it landed me a ways away. Alright, fine. I'm up for a jog. Probably user error. My error. My fault. My fault. I'm sorry. Hello there. You're kind of cute. Ah, uh, I can't run. I need plutonium. Don't ask me why. I just need more of it. It's important to me. Plus, what else am I going to do on my way to the ship? And farm for materials. Ooh. Or an interesting thing. Let's see. Anything here? Nice. New technology discovered. Advanced schooling theta. Photon cannon companion unit. Ooh. All right. Moving on. This is an interesting ship. I should interact with it. Hello there. Pair. Oh, wait. What? Abandoned starship. I can take this? I'm gonna take this. I can move items. Alright. Let's see. Most importantly, does this thing have a warp drive? Yes, it does. Alright, I'll just move over all of my, um, my materials. Okay, so this is definitely kind of cool. I guess these things have more to them than I thought they would. Um, cause this is definitely uh, a cool thing. Except warning, transfer items before accepting. All right, yeah. Abandoned starship. This is now my baby. Hello. You look slightly damaged. I'm probably going to need to fix you up. That's okay though. We love you. All of us really love you. Get the stress beacon. Whoop. I clambered into the cargo ship to find it. Find its black box. Oh, black box. I read that as black socks. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. As soon as I touched a holographic image of a panicked... Yeah, panicked reptilian trader appears. Perhaps it is a message for their superior. Perhaps a loved one. Impossible to tell. As the playback is hauntingly silent, and in its final moments, the trader seemed to point at some freshly installed ship tech, or dropping to its knees in despair. Ooh. 
I'm going to inspect recently installed ship tech before I go and look for any cargo. I don't need that. I need to know what was installed. I discovered the poorly installed tech that caused the crash. It scans blueprints, and I can now construct it myself. Hell yeah. Wait. All right. If I can do a couple of things to that, I should probably go and repair my ship. If I can, I don't really have much. Ooh. Well, let's craft some... All right, sheet. All right, sheet. All right, sheet. All right, sheet. And all right, sheet. Uh, there we go. Launch thrusters back online. I don't have a pulse engine right now. That's okay. Um. Ah. Uh, okay. I'll have to just repair these things as I go along. Uh, find some heridium deposits or something and work my way up from there you are good I like you you're different and and ooh, pretty oh I'm not gonna be able to leave until it's online am I no! okay well this episode just became a little bit different um, honestly I might cut the recording a bit or take my other ship back I might just have to take my other ship back uh, to get some materials at the very least and this sucks I finally get to go somewhere cool I think that's some material I'm looking for that 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 stuff yeah I'm gonna go and just check before I head back to the ship. That's uh, right over here? Yeah, right over here. Because those things don't appear to be glowing blue. That one is, appears to be the right thing as well. I'm gonna pick up some platinum, just in case I need some of that. And I think it was this material that I needed more of. Yep, iridium. Awesome. Oh cool, so it's actually charging a lot of iridium fairly fast. Let's go and farm as much of this stuff as I can. How much can I get from blowing you up? Not much. Don't know if you're worth blowing up using a grenade then. Uh, I need a lot of heridium. I think. How much do I actually need to repair? Eh, I'll figure it out. Maybe it's like, oh, you're abandoning the pre-order ship? Yeah. But why? It's 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 pre-order only. I know. I don't I don't care. At the moment. I probably should, but I, I really don't. Uh how much was that? Is that enough? Uh Enough Herodite. I need zinc. So I also need ah. Ah I'm I'm derping up. I was I was completely fine before before I started recording, I was completely fine. I had everything under control. I need to find some of the glowy, glowy flowers that give me zinc. I'll never find that flying around, though, will I? No, I'll overlook it if I'm flying around. There's plenty of platinum flowers around. Which is nice, but not going to help me. Because I don't need platinum. I need zinc. Zinc. I'm going to look around for a little bit. Try and find some zinc. Oh, man. Here we go. Fascination bead. Ooh. All right, can I, say? I can go... Oh, that's what I can do. I can go to... My old ship. I can go... Get into my old ship. Where it is. Fly back to the outpost I was just at. Trade some stuff. Get some zinc. Come back. Repair the engine. And do things like that. Uh, I have to go back. Yes.
Okay. Transfer items again, because I'm an idiot. Let's go. Except. Okay. Let's get in you. And head back to the outpost we were just... No. Head back to the outpost we were just at. Okay, so it's right over there. Um, I think that had to have been the place I was at. Right? That shelter is not the place I was at. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now I'm lost. Okay. Um, I'm going to lose track of the ship if I don't I don't remember where it's at, so I think I'm going to go back. Watch, I'll already have lost track of the ship, and then it'll be gone, and then I won't be able to get back to it, and then it'll just... It'll, it'll, it'll all have been for naught! Oh, Oh, God. Fudge. Okay. It's all for naught for now. I can buy a ship later. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Let's go stop in here. This here looks like a, a trading post area. If I can get to a trading post, I'll pick up some zinc so that way if at that other crash ship I go to over there, it still has broken and stuff, I, I'll just go and get more. Uh, like, I'll, I'll, I'll have zinc on me so I can repair it. Oh, no, this place is under duress. Can I help it? This is how I got the other two coordinates. I actually went and solved this little panel problem. The other two. Oh. Is this the one I failed earlier? This is the one I failed earlier. Earlier. So this is going to be just permanently uh, sounding. Because I didn't really know it was a puzzle. And that they give you hints at the bottom of the screen. Um, yeah, it was my bad. Definitely my bad on that one. <laughs> um, and the reason why I'm not too obsessed about getting the ship and making sure I'm at the ship and stuff. And making sure I go back and get the ship is because as much as I love that ship and I want to get it, the repair process seems like more trouble than it's worth, especially because with the money I have now, one point, what, what was it? 1.6 million? I could buy a ship that is a lot better. Okay, so going at this speed, the crashed ship is 33, holy crap, 33 minutes away? Uh, that's not going to be in this episode, so there's that, but wait, no. Our ship arrives at, hello? 36 minutes? 40? What? Okay, okay, screw it. We're going to a bunch of the alien plaque stuff, monoliths and stuff, and we'll hit that up next episode. I'll try and go all the way over there by myself and then come back. Uh, to record it, maybe for this episode, maybe for the next. Until then, monoliths, which are sort of the main focus of my appeal right now. I really like the way they look, and they seem to have some interesting dialogue with them as well. Uh, da -da -da -da. Remnants of Selenar. Interact. A strange new reality grips me. The ancient structure swings open to reveal a body encased in ice. It is a patchwork of different body parts. Its ragged beak appears to have been stitched on with animal gut. A handwritten sign in a language of an ancient trader's can be seen above the body's head. A flammable isotope would most likely melt the ice. Leave or melt the ice. Beware something abomination. Something, 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 something despair. If I melt the ice, I'm going to despair. So I must leave. The abomination remains trapped. I am thanked. Good! Oh, good choice! Yay! See, that's what I like about the monoliths. They actually seem to have, like, dialogue and story to them. Knowledge stone! Let's learn some more words so that way I can actually make an adequate guess at the next one. Alright, learn the word for starship. That's nice. There's a couple of different things here. Oh, cool! Also got a relic for that. Geck word for trader. Obviously as in to trade, not as in trader. 
Actually, I guess it could be a multi-use word, technically speaking. Alright, Gek word for pleasure. Journey milestone accomplished. I'm going to head back to my ship right now. Misunderstood. Learn 20 words. That's awesome. I'm going to go. I'm going to get back into our ship once the achievement thingy is gone. Alright, let's take off again. Take off. Am I out of fuel? Take off fuel? No. Oh no, I can still. What? Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, that took a lot longer than I should have. There's monoliths over that way. Stuff over this way. There's a plaque or a three minute monolith and a two minute monolith over that way. I guess I'll go to this grouping next. I'll try and hit up all three of these and then the two over to the, the left hand side of the screen. Probably all in this episode, then I'll sweep over to the other side later on, I guess. Let's go! Whee! Flying in this game is kind of fun. Aside, aside from the fact that everything sort of does render around you, which is, it sort of gets rid of the, the immersion. But at the same time, obviously it can't render it all at the same time. Most computers, including mine, would crash. No, 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 no. I f butts it up. Alright, I'm going to the monoliths. I pressed the wrong thing to land. Ooh. Screw that. Wait a sec. I got... 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 Got to check this thing. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. See if this thing needs help and if I can get anything closer. Any, like, closer... Ooh. There's a... Hello in there, Knowledge Stone. Gek word for choose. Good. I'm learning a lot of languages in the Gek language. I'm assuming the Gek language is just one of the many, 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 many languages in this freaking universe. Which excites me to no end. Super Dale, dis undiscovered. Well, I mean, I'll discover it once I get to the discovery point. Um, I'm gonna quickly check for resources in here. Because occasionally I can learn stuff or increase my standings. I need a little bit of carbon that's here, just to talk to some of the life forms later on. New technology discovered. Awesome. Life support's lower. No. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damage machinery. Beam impact sigma. I already know it. Okay. Alright. Continuing on. Second part. Let's go. Woo! This style of room is, is, is fairly useless for, like, us, but obviously it's a cool room. Like, two beds. You know, you and your best bud can sit down and watch TV. Or you and your lover. I mean, I mean, companion. I mean, you know. Whatever. But me and best friend, kind of thing. Love to just sit down and watch some intergalactic TV from a procedurally generated universe. I'm sure there would just be a crap ton of different stuff going on in whatever TV shows they would watch. Um, it'd be kind of interesting too to see exactly what what kind of shows would be that. Oh, ooh, okay, 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 okay. Do -do 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 -do. The observatory. The head observatory. Observatory hums gently as it scans the sky. The traitor that manned it is clearly looking for something in the cosmos, and it seems the observatory may have found it. If I can decipher this beacon's code, I may be able to pinpoint its origin. <clears throat> Alright. 9183-1893-8391. Okay. I'm bad at these things, so please forgive me. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, this is gonna take a while. I'm I'm embarrassed. I don't know if I'm gonna get this out. Uh, I don't want to get this input wrong. So it wouldn't be any repeats. So let's look for anything that would repeat. Let's see, we have the three, the three, the three, the three. And it seems to take one that's in that location. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. They're taking the first number and putting it to the back. First number and putting it to the back. So it'd be three nine. Yeah, three nine one eight. I'm an idiot. Okay, I was trying to look for something way more than that. I cracked the code and find the location within the de depths of space. Cool. Is it on the planet, or is it like in the cosmos? Because if it's in the cosmos, I'm not gonna be able to visit it right now. If it's on the planet. It can. Okay. That way? Ruin? Oh, it'd probably be the ruins over there. Probably? Maybe? 
Possibly? Ooh, what is that? That's a monolith I'm gonna arrive in. And... Okay, wrong door, wrong door. Don't know what the Atlas passes are still. Still haven't gotten one, still don't know how to get one. It'd be awesome if I figured that out, but I'm too stupid to figure that out. Isotopes. Let's go back to the ship, back to the ship. Where's my ship? I parked it around back. Probably not this way around. No. While I'm here, I figure I might as well discover this. Just in case someone else manages to find this planet, they'll know what they're in for. Yeah. There's no way anyone else is going to find this planet, I don't think. I'm way out in the middle of nowhere. I haven't seen a single other person yet. I think I'm going crazy! <laughs> Day 4000. Still alone. Don't know how these drones got here, but still alone. Woo! <gasps> Lots of materials! I'm gonna farm those before I leave. Do 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 do. I sidetracked way far from just being like monoliths! Only monoliths to. Ooh, it's pretty! I wanna go see it. Um, let's see. Let's get back in the ship and let's go and hit up a few more monoliths before I cut it. Alright. Come in, take off. Take off. Thank you. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Where were where, 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 where were the ones I was heading to? Ah, that's this way, this way. Yes? Uh okay, okay. That was back where I came, so it has to be out this I'll arrive to a monolith in two minutes in that direction. Oh, there's a monolith. I'll hit that one up, that one up, and the one to the right up. I think. Unless things go wrong. Landing sequence initiated. Well, this one's like a, a, a pyramid thing. Well, I, obviously a two-part pyramid. Two-pointed pyramid. Ugh. It's interesting looking. The other ones have been more squarey or blocky. The first I've seen like this. I should probably go and check in all the words here beforehand. That way I can have a better understanding for the riddle or puzzle or moral choice, which is what it seems to be, of everything else. I'm going to go and interact with it up there once I've checked around. Checked around. Farm some plutonium. Oh no, where does that go? The silly thing says. All right. Come on now. Come on. E. Memories of Lantinto Rupri? 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 Okay. I'm inspecting the monolith's surface when, suddenly, a ragged silicon claw grabs me. Despite being broken and fragmented, it holds me tight while an ancient metallic beak emerges from the living rock. It shouts out in ancient tongue, unaware of who or what I am. Gek for spawn, something something, give the Volcantio. Give silicate ten heridium. Yes. The metallic hand releases his grip and grabs my offerings. I have perhaps appeased an ancient evil. That's good enough for me. Hey, if I make some ancient deity stronger, maybe it'll find me its friend when it comes and tries to destroy the universe. So, I'm, I'm gonna try and make as many friends as possible, even if they're bad ideas. Now, I know that's kind of counter... <laughs> Excuse me. Counterproductive, considering I didn't let the abomination out of the ice back there. But I don't really know if that thing would have wanted to live, and I didn't want to have to kill it until perhaps we could restore it better in the future. I don't entirely know if that's an option, or if the lore is going to go anywhere near into that, or if there is any lore regarding this stuff, or if it's just, you know, stating stuff. If it's just really pieces of a fragmented story that I'll never learn because... There's no actual story, it's just here. You know? And and that kind of depresses me, that I, I don't entirely know that yet, but at the same time, if I looked it up, I would spoil a surprise, which would just... I would hurt me even more, I think, is my problem. Another monolith. One, and E. Landing sequence. Oh, wow. I got close to this one. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like it. Okay, give me a sec. Really weird glowing... I'm sure that's a plant, but I have to look into it, right? Like, it's glowing more than other plants usually do. These, these... Plus, I mean red water. Do, 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 do. Is there anything interesting underneath the water? I can't see anything interesting underneath the water. Okay, so it does look like just a normal plant. 
Yeah, it's just a carbon. Carbon life forms. I'm sorry for getting everyone's hopes up. <laughs> it's just a basic item. That's okay, though. I shouldn't have expected it to be some ultra awesome uber th super duper thingy. The jigger. Yeah. Knowledge stone. Gek word for silicate. Awesome. Gek word for federation. Can I destroy you from here? I don't want to walk all the way over there. Okay. Nope. I'm not getting you then. I'm not farming you. Gek word for trading. I'm learning a lot about the gek. I'm not doing anything. You can't. You can't get pissed at me. I'll access that in a sec. I need to ensure that that is repaired and that my exosuit is repaired as well. Uh, plutonium. Why not? All right. Interact. Gek mausoleum. Guess. Gek. 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 Why did I say guess? I'm thinking about Mass Effect too much. A beak emerged from the ancient stone. It's shouting, but can't be heard. In the stone, from in the, the stone above, someone long ago has crawled advice. Has scrawled advice for those who would approach it. The beak screams wordlessly at me, furiously intoning my words of the ancient being that once worshipped here. My scanner detects traces of oxide around it, but can't specify which ones. First spawn something oxide. I don't have any. Can I come back? Okay, I can. Uh, the only thing I could really farm here is iron. Right? I guess I don't really have a choice. I have to go and get some iron and then feed it iron. Unless this is something. Ow. That's emerald. Dang. Iron. I uh, I need a hundred of you. So I'll go and farm over here for some iron. Ow. I was an idiot. Iron, iron, iron. Okay. Two hundred iron. That should be more than enough. I'll get some more uh plutonium. Plutonium! Yay! Wait. What was the other plutonium crystal? Oh, I probably blew it the frick up. Dang it! Oh well. Alright. I guess I really only have the one choice. Uh, for now. If I screw this one up, I'm okay with it. You only need iron. I'm sure of it. Not not really, but... Feed common. Speak whispers the words of those who once worshipped here. Okay. Did I do a good or did I do a bad? I've learned the Gek word for sales Gek. I've learned the Gek word for fusion. I've learned the Atlas word for beyond? What's Atlas? What 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 is Atlas? What is Atlas? Why do I need to know about it? Comprehended. Learned 30 words. That I did. All right, you guys. So this episode is actually going to be about 28 minutes long, I want to say. So I think I'll call it here for now. Go and look into some more of these things later. I might cut the ape a bit and go to crash ship over that way. And then come back. I'm not entirely certain. First off, I'm going to get this little glowy plant. Because maybe it's zinc. And I, I, would, I would love some zinc. Zinc! Please be at least 20. 17! Oh, you tease! You absolute tease! Ah. Oh. Okay. Well... I'll see you guys next time. I'll either be at another monument when I resume filming. Actually, I can't. Oh, yeah, I can do that because I can edit out everything but me getting to the uh, monument. Or I will resume over by the craft. Uh, craft crashed ship. Uh, this has been DigiPlus. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll come back for part five. And I hope you find this funner than what I was doing beforehand. Me actually having a bit of reason to me. And me looking into the lore instead of just walking around in case. Because I, I can imagine how that would get kind of boring really fast. If you guys want me to do something else instead of go and look for all of the different um, monoliths and ruins and stuff, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you'd like me to do. If you'd like me to go and get a better ship, like actually grind for a bit more money and then try and buy a great ship, 
leave a comment about that down in the comments below as well. I will try and do that. I just realized I can't quit here because it won't save me. But this will be the end of the video for you guys, so have fun. I'll talk to you guys next time. And DigiPlus out! Thank you guys so much for watching that episode of No Man's Sky. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the direction we're taking now where we're actually doing more content per episode and less me just randomly running around. If you did, feel free to um, leave a comment down below saying so or leave a like or just watch the videos. That, that'd be good. I'd, I'd like that. Anyhow, see you guys later. Bye!